What the? Where'd you come from? Are you following me? All right, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Jim Ellis, founder of Nginx Digital, international technical powerhouse since 1991 and the digital marketing authority. Underline the word authority, my friend. Those are the guys that make you money in digital marketing and don't waste your time with a bunch of useless information. We're the guys that train the companies that train you. Since you spent all this time stalking me down the hallway, would you like me to share some highlights from the current episode? Yes? All right, this episode, titled Keep Your Eye on the Prize, continues our win online core digital marketing basic series for small to medium businesses. Small to medium businesses, all they need are the basics of digital marketing to succeed. Even though 90% of small to medium businesses don't follow the basics. So, if you learn and follow the basics, you'll beat 90% of your competition. Imagine that. Now, here's some highlights. We, through the help of a great landing page and call to action, show you how to convert prospects that land on your website into customers fast. We answer the question, what platform should I promote my business on and how many? Facebook, website, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Using data collected from 2022, we list out the platforms that deliver the most customers. And we all know or should know that great content fuels successful digital marketing. But what does Google think great content is? How does Google define great content? It's good to know. And finally, we wrap all of this information up into an action plan to help you apply it in the real world to your market to see success today while building a better tomorrow for your business. Whew, that's a lot to say. Now, I have to head over to County Court Studio number four and complain about the lights and heat and surprise everyone by getting groovy. So, if you like bad disco and great digital marketing information, follow me. We've got both. <laughs> oh my goodness. Every time I come to the Cork Studios, it's brighter and hotter here. Ah, oh, man, it's like a digital marketing inferno, or dare I say, disco inferno? Don't do a disco well, scene. What's wrong with you, Frank? Are you out of gold chains and leisure suits? No, you aren't listening, man, I think are I, you? I think I see a disco scene coming. Yeah, there's definitely a disco scene coming. Oh, Let's do no. that. Let's get groovy. To my surprise, the boogie started to explode with Google rankings rising 100 places to the top with search engine satisfaction coming in a chain reaction. I couldn't get enough. I couldn't stop. With every blog going strong, and that's when my results got hot. Then I heard somebody say, Nginx Digital Marketing is groovy. Greetings, brothers and sisters. I know you've been out in the wilderness trying to find your way through all the misinformation, looking for the temple of digital marketing truth. Well, you've arrived. We are the truth. We are the light. And we are the love. We love you. And to show this love, we're going to help you learn. I'm going to personally help you start your first assignment by shaving your head. Then I'm going to drop you off at an airport with a bunch of flowers in your hand. You're going to hand out all these flowers. And your assignment will be done once you, well, either handed out all the flowers or been arrested. Well, being arrested probably is the most likely scenario. Uh, scratch that, you're new, that's more advanced. We're gonna start you off by straightening that long, winding road to success into a runway and give you a free ticket to our party plane so you can take off with us and leave the competition in the dust. Welcome to Club Engine X. Roll the intro. Went online with Engine X. Oh my God, did you see that corny stuff? And knock out the competition. Jim Ellis, back again, continuing our latest episode, Keep Your Eye on the Prize. Did you know that only 10% of small to medium businesses, what the, oh my God. Frank Kaplan, boat anchor for NGC, your favorite news gimmick channel, part of the Engine X network. 
This just in. Reliable sources confirm that a growing number of small to medium-sized businesses have kept pace and grown from the never-ending changes in digital marketing. Instead of getting left behind, they're cashing in. The digital marketing enlightened, as they are called, are applying what they've learned and taking over their local markets, eliminating many competitors. If you're a small to medium business, be on the alert. This is a developing situation, and I will deliver updates along with a serious expression and artificially deep voice as more information becomes available. Now, back to our regular programming. Great job, Frank. That was digital marketing enlightened, not enlightened. Probably a typo in the script. That was Frank Kaplan, our Data Warehouse SQL stat guy, who we pulled out of the dungeon he calls an office to help us get caught up in YouTube. Now only about 10% of small to medium businesses are considered the digital marketing enlightened. They rise above the competition in local markets and they don't look back because they understand one thing more than anything else. And that's winning in digital marketing is easy as long as you master the basics. And they, the enlightened, control 90% of their local markets, which means that if they're in your market, 90% of prospects are going to go to their sites first and if they like what they see, they're not going anywhere else. So you can have the best product, service, warranty, etc. But if you're stuck in the dark with all the other marketing misfits fighting for scraps like a bunch of animals, you're not going anywhere and you're not going to be found. The good news is that unless you're watching this video from a cardboard box on a cell phone you found in the alley while sipping your favorite bottle of forget it juice, then the enlightened are not in your market yet. So relax, watch and learn, and keep your crayons between the lines. Now let's kick off the education by covering the one topic will decide the future of your business, content. Hey, 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 what's, what's cracking my fellow cats besides my voice? Let's discuss the two types of content you have to be down with so you can move up the search engine rankings. First, there is prospect to customer conversion content, which gives site visitors good vibes by delivering to them the lowdown of what your site's about, what you have to offer, and why they should dig your gig instead of the competition. So they're compelled to take action that benefits your business, like putting down the bread to buy something or filling out a form so you can catch them on the flip side. And that's all we're gonna discuss about this content because we talk about converting prospects into customers all throughout the video as it is. The other content, we don't talk about a lot, but it's just as important. It's nicknamed Google content, officially SEO content, which helps Google understand what your site's about and what your motive is, among other things. Google content is very important, so you can't um, be a space cadet and ignore it. If you don't get this right, then the odds are Google will probably make sure you never are found in the search engine results again. Whoa, whoa, it's cool. Stop tripping. Peace. Peace. Take a chill pill. Because I'm going to help you make great SEO content so you can please Google and your business can get its search engine groove on. Don't spaz out on me again. Nobody kicks sand in my face anymore. As I responded to an advertisement in the back of a magazine by sending a self-addressed stamped envelope with $9.95. And I am a changed man. I'm a He-Man now. And if you reference the code WINONLINE, you can save 20%, but you have to do it today. Now let's continue to talk about how to make great SEO content so you can please Google. Google needs to understand what your site's about and what you're trying to do, what your motive is. Are you an auto parts site? Then, okay. Are you trying to sell auto parts? All right, then 80% of your site needs to be about selling auto parts, which makes your motive transactional. You're selling stuff. Or are you trying to help people install auto parts, learn about auto parts, that kind of thing. 80% of your site needs to be about helping people with auto parts, learn and install then you're informational. Your motive is informational. You can't mix motives. And site visitors and Google need to understand what your site's about and what your motive is. 
If you're informational, then you spend the time teaching people. If you're transactional, then you're selling. You can't mix them or Google will throw flags up and it'd be very, very bad. Now, Google uses bots called spiders to crawl your website to determine what it's about and what its motive is, among other things. These spiders need a little bit of help. You help them with technical information or behind the scenes information that you don't see, but nerds and spiders do. Meta tags, meta descriptions, HTML headers, XML markup, that sort of thing helps the spiders immensely, but it's highly technical. And I recommend you don't do this yourself and outsource it to a technical agency and let the dorks build your website core foundation. Just like any foundation, it needs to be sound as a pound. So don't take any chances. Now back to the visible. Your website pages and landing page need to look like a, a well laid out report or article. Great fonts, easy to read, easy in the eyes, uh, bullet points, headers, subheaders, kind of like they taught in that typing class in school that you missed because you were playing hooky. Also, your job isn't just to format pages or to worry about motive. Your number one job is to make sure site visitors stay interested and engaged. Because if a site visitor gets bored and they bounce, that sends a message to Google that you suck and Google bounces you. Finally, keep your content fresh. Nobody likes a stale donut and Google can't get down with stale content. So update your content weekly or the very least monthly. Copy that right on. Here's an important bottom line service message. Content is the number one area that you and your staff should be in total control of, from creation, management, publishing, and updating on a regular basis. You should control that and leave the technical stuff such as meta tags, etc. to an outside agency letting them build your framework or foundation initially, which is the best advice you're ever going to get if you're bottom line oriented. Don't fall in the trap of playing nerd because ultimately it's very time consuming for the average business owner or staff to build what we call the technical SEO side of your website. Don't believe for a second a tutorial you watch, even the ones we produce, or article you read will allow you to successfully build an SEO optimized website that complies with all Google SEO best practices. Trust me, you will get sucked into a black hole with all the other delusional businesses that have endless time to not make money when they could have simply contracted out the initial building stage of their website. Enough said. Now, let's talk about what you can control and should control, and that's content creation and management. By content, I'm more specifically referring to content SEO, which is all relative media that is designed to help your web pages or social media rank in search engines, get the user or site visitor's attention, keep the site visitor's interest, engage the site visitor emotionally, and compel the site visitor to take action, action that benefits your business or organization. Oh, and by the way, site visitor and user are interchangeable. They're the same. All relative media includes text, which are descriptions of products, blogs, titles, articles, etc. Images, videos, animation. These can take the place or enhance existing text. Audio, voiceovers like this one or podcasts that are audio only, or audio to enhance graphics, video, etc. Content SEO is important as Google reads your website daily with the help of spiders. Spiders are bots that crawl your website at least twice a day and report back to Google the health, quality, and relevance of your website. Your website's relevance is determined by the quality of your content. This engine eggs episode is like the quick start sheet that comes with a toaster oven. Open the box. Pull the quick start sheet, big print, easy to follow, but a cartoon character like an otter wearing a safari hat on its head to help you guide you through the steps and entertains the kids. Not today's kids, but the kids in the 80s <laughs> couldn't resist a black and white cartoon of an otter. Wow, toaster ovens, discos and otters. That's my kind of show. Well, not really. That's what this episode is not. It's not a digital marketing fairy tale are a tedious, wordy, instructional video that teaches you everything you don't need to know about digital marketing, and that doesn't apply to your small to medium business, because this is a bottom line video. My name is Jim Ellis, and making you bread is my game. So let's start going over some common terms and their definitions as part of the digital marketing primer. Starting with sites. 
Sites are leveraged to promote your business and share your content online. Facebook, Twitter, website, LinkedIn, and on. All similar sites are grouped under platforms. At Nginx, we recognize three platforms. Website platform, which has websites and microsites. Microsites are more targeted forms of websites. Then there is video platform, YouTube, and social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on. Every site that you leverage to promote your business depends on the one-two punch of well-written content that builds an engaging user experience to work. Wow, look at the content in that mama. I wonder what her user experience is like. Whoa, where'd you come from? I didn't see you in the search engine results. Without this one-two punch, prospects are unlikely to find your business online and even less likely to convert into a customer when and if they do. Next term, above the fold. Above the fold is the area the site visitor or user, remember those are interchangeable, site visitor, user, is the area that site visitor first sees when your landing page comes up where they don't have to scroll anywhere else. In other words, everything is right there in front of them. A call to action is usually a submit button along with a form that is a requirement to be filled out for the site visitor to get what they're looking for, such as an instant quote. Hi there, Frank here with Engine X. You know, I'm the stat guy, and here's a statistic that you probably didn't know, but will help you understand from this point forward why you should never put more emphasis on any one site to promote your business. Customers typically come from, as of June 2022, website and microsites, 62%. YouTube and other video platforms, 20%. And then there's Facebook and other social media, 18%. If you're surprised, then you're watching the right video. And it's time to toss the digital marketing book of fairy tales into the trash. If you have been misinformed by wannabe digital marketing experts that, for example, Facebook is all you need and you can get by with no website, or an amateur hack job website created by an online wizard that came free with a slow daddy hosting package, then my advice is to stop listening to them and block out the noise. Focus on what works. Your website core foundation is powerful enough to carry your business all alone even though I don't recommend that method. But it will make or break you. Without your website core foundation, nothing else really works. Facebook won't carry you. They won't even pay the bills. Here's a rundown of what makes a great website. Optimized to be found. I'm looking for some action. I'm looking for some search engine action tonight. Initially built by a technical agency, not you, your staff, or the babysitter down the street. Fast loading. Custom landing pages are triggered by the search terms the site visitor used to find you. For example, if they type auto parts break pads when they're searching on Google for you, then when they click on your link, it should load a custom landing page that has everything your other landing pages have, but it also highlights break pads. That's very powerful and very customized. Next, a great content management system that allows you to add edit content 24 seven with no technical skills required. You can have your employees do the same. This allows you to focus on the content and not all the moving parts. Dynamic links, so when you update or add content, if tagged correctly, you can link to your other sites like Facebook so your new content or edits show dynamically on Facebook without having to manually add content to both sites. Well, I don't recommend outsourcing many areas of digital marketing. There are exceptions. One exception is the building of your initial website core foundation. That needs to be outsourced to a technical agency so the pros can handle it. There's too many moving parts and it's too complex for you to handle in-house. Also, your website core foundation is too important to your business to turn into a learn-as-you-go amateur hour project. Good news is once a pro have finished building your website core foundation, they set you up with website management tools that are customized to your business, then turn over the keys and total control of all website management, maintenance, and content management to you and your staff. At this point, you can go in 24 seven to your new custom management tools and edit and add content as easily as writing a memo 
in Microsoft Word, which is great news because you and your staff are on the hook to publish and maintain well-written content and keep it fresh by updating it weekly or at the very least monthly. Why? Why, Why are you on the hook for that? Because nobody from the outside understands your business better and what it has to offer than you and your staff. So when it comes to content, there's no outsourcing allowed. The only thing allowed is to stare at the camera and point your fingers. Content is useless unless it's high quality and well written. More traffic, more conversions, and higher earnings can only happen when you've taken the time to create quality content. Whether you're a YouTuber or a blogger, creating high quality content helps you build a library of content pieces you can fall back on as you maintain your growth year after year. But what is quality content? Well, it's up to date, fresh content, it's original content, it's formatted well, easy to read with headings, images, bullet points when needed, and breaking up walls of text so they don't look like one long dump. Ensuring your sentences are easy to read using large fonts, keep sidebar distractions and pop ups away. Make sure that your content answers the site visitor's question What is the site about? Why am I on this site? What makes the site different? Does it have what I want? Make sure it's helpful. For example, if you're in an auto parts site, do you have tips on installing brake pads or a video on performing a tune-up or a tool that helps them match up the right brake pads to their automobile type? If the site visitor sees value, you increase loyalty and reduce the odds of losing a visitor for a 50 cent savings on another site and improve your bottom line. Let's put the customers by platform stats on the screen again. Digital Marketing Smart SMB don't care about these stats, nor should you. Why, you ask? Well, well, the main reason that smart businesses don't care is cause they don't have to. You see, they leverage all platforms and about seven sites under them to hedge their bets. You see, if Facebook and websites don't perform, five other sites pick up the slack and deliver prospects. The example on the screen shows you one of many combinations of how you would balance out the sites you leverage to promote your business. Why seven? Well, because it's enough sites to bring you safety in numbers and not too many to manage. You and your staff are on the hook to publish and maintain well-written content to all these sites, right? Also, when publishing content, there's some don'ts. Don't publish any content that isn't related to the business you're promoting. For example, on your social media business sites, like your Facebook business site, don't use it as a personal dumping ground filled with gripes, comments about the weather, or a funny looking cheeseburger or some cutesy video that you uploaded of a raccoon driving a golf cart. Don't do that, because part of how Google determines how relevant your website and social media sites are is by how well the content matches the business you're promoting. For example, if you're promoting a physician's office, then your site should be stuff like uh, cancellation policy, walk-in policy, medical procedures performed, insurance accepted, maybe a weekly health tips blog from the doctor. That sort of thing. So there's no room for a raccoon driving a golf cart. Now let's break down the user experience slash site visitor experience a little further. Just so you know, user experience, site visitor, or user, site visitor are interchangeable. The user experience is just that. What is the user experience when they land on your website? The first thing they should experience is a fast loading landing page that loads above the fold and as we defined earlier in the video, is the area the site visitor first sees where they don't have to scroll anywhere else. Everything is right there in front of them. Hi, this is Olivia with NGINX, the winner of five International Webby Awards. In this vlog, we will cover what makes a great landing page. Without a great landing page, you will likely see over 50% less customer conversions and fail in pay-per-click marketing venues such as Google Ads. A landing page is a direct message to your site visitor on what you can deliver to them with an easy path to get there. Communicate what the site is about. Cut all the logic and target emotional triggers of your site visitors. Give them value in return. 
information and or other stuff like pricing, scheduling, etc. Load fast so you don't lose 33% of your visitors per extra second the website takes to load. Here we go. First up, no turbulence. Turbulence could also be referred to as busy, ransom note, or confusing. The general guidelines for creating clean landing pages are word count should be no more than 600 words, usually more, but it's not written in stone and depends on your target audience. Ditch the slideshows and other amateur gimmicks. Keep images to one clean image that is low on complexity. Don't use multiple fonts and stick with readable fonts. For the mobile version, consider no images at all. Then the landing page needs to answer the question that site visitor has, am I on the right site? If they're looking for pet grooming salons, they should instantly know, oh, they're on a pet grooming salon site. Let's go to the poodle example and hammer this home. If the first thing the site visitor experiences when your pet grooming landing page loads are pricing and grooming services, an entire list of options, summary of the grooming process, what separates your grooming service from the competition, and it's all there right in front of them above the fold, and that is not good. Landing pages should be simple with very little text. So a site visitor would probably take one look and say, doggone it, this is giving me a headache. And they, just like that, are dog gone. If, however, in this alternate scenario, they see a picture or a video of a poodle getting its fur trimmed and minimal text, then you've successfully answered the first question. They see the poodle and say, hot dog, and stick around for more. And they know what the site is about, just like that. And the first scenario was too much stuff on the landing page. The site visitor just wanted to know they were on the right site and to get excited about something. Instead, they got a laundry list of information that they didn't need right then, a headache, and they left. In the alternate scenario, or like the correct scenario, they experience a video or a picture of a poodle getting its fur trim. And as a pet owner, they can connect to a video or picture of a poodle getting its fur trim pretty easily. They knew they were on the right site and they're emotionally engaged. Even the same example on the screen, the landing page needs to offer the site visitor what they want through a well-designed call to action. Click on the nose, fill out a 30 second form, get instant pricing openings with the option to schedule as well. It's an awesome landing page and awesome call to action. The site visitor just has to fill out a 30 second form to get what they want, instant pricing. As a bonus, they get openings so they know when they can possibly fit their pet in and they have the no pressure option to schedule right then and there. And even if they don't schedule right then and there, it's a win-win situation. They get their instant pricing and you have them in your prospect database. Boom, it's that simple. All right, let's wrap this up. Wow, what a great video. I knew you'd agree. We've seen a lot and you've learned a lot and now we're down to the last three bullet points in my script. The takeaways. The first takeaway is leverage multiple sites to promote your business. Hedge your bets. There's safety in numbers. If two sites aren't performing, the other sites will pick up the slack. Second, make sure that your content matches the business that you're promoting, that you're not posting content of, about a, ra of a raccoon driving a golf cart. If you find a video of a raccoon driving a golf cart, don't publish it. Don't. Email it to me because I've never seen that before in my life. And then finally, learn how to write great content. Writing great content will make or break your business. And it's all about content. We're going to email you an action plan that kind of ties everything we've done together, along with a path forward to help you see success today while building a better tomorrow for your business. All you have to do is scroll down to the link below in the description below. Follow it, fill out a form, and we'll email you an action plan. If you like this video, subscribe, click on like. We're creating more and more of these videos so we can help you board that party plane and leave the competition in the dust. Now, let's go be great and groovy together. It's time, it's time to win online.